One of the most important aspects of our existence is to ensure that we are sincere to our maker. In Islam, we refer to it as Al-Ikhlas. Ikhlas is sincerity. It is the cornerstone of your existence and mine. The reason is when we are sincere, sincerity commences with the relationship between you and your maker. You and I need to think and ponder over on a regular basis who we actually are. In Islam, we are taught to ponder. Allah Almighty mentions it regarding creation, regarding the day and the night, regarding you yourself or human beings themselves. Look into yourself. Within yourselves, would you not look into or ponder or think? Similarly, in the world, a long, beautiful verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of in Surah Ali Imran, where he says in the creation of the, the skies and the earth and the rotation of the day and the night and everything that Allah has created. In another verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah speaks about the ship that moves and the way the water is carrying that particular ship and so on the the thinking of all of that is definitely the sign of an intellectual and there will be signs in all of that pointing towards your maker for those with sound intellect now i start this way because my beloved brothers and sisters every one of us knows that before we were actually born before the time when we were in the wombs of our mothers, we were actually non-existent. It required the fusion of gametes. It required the embryo, the fetus, etc., which was a fusion of two items. Thereafter, a soul to be blown. Then we came into existence. I need to think, no matter who I am, where am I going? I am too sophisticated in my mind, in my existence to just disappear into thin air. So this pondering would make us genuine. It would make us sincere. It would make us have deeper feeling. It would make us feel a sense of accountability. The other day I was speaking to a group of students and the point I raised, which I'd like to share with you today is absolutely mind-boggling the fact that you have a unique identity different from every other human being ever to be created that alone is evidence that you are going to be held accountable that's all if we, there was no accountability there would be no need to have absolute difference of identity this accountability is two phase number one in this world they will pick you up look at how people committed crimes i read of a man who was said to have murdered someone 38 years back dna evidence has now shown that it was someone else you might know the story in the states they released him 38 years later the old man says i'm not bitter only allah knows what must have gone through his mind what came to his rescue? Wallahi, the mercy of Allah having created you and I totally unique. Amazing. The fact that you're unique, you need to know there's someone, someone, some way I've got to go back to, give an account to, that itself is evidence. Some might argue, but I'm talking from a religious perspective, so it's fine. 